Hello and welcome to Cracks Void. Today we have an exciting video for you as we explore the latest official version of Evolution X ROM version 7.7. .7. This ROM has the most recent Android security update of March 2023 and comes with a lot of exciting changes. However, there is one significant change that many of us install custom rooms for. But unfortunately, it's been removed from this room and personally I didn't like the decision at all and we'll discuss it in detail later in this video. So in this video, we'll take you on a journey through the new features, customization options, change logs, Antutu benchmark score, Kickbench score, CPU throttling test results as well as my personal opinion on this room. And by the end of this video, you will know everything about the latest Evolution X 7.7 room. So let's start. So as you can see, this is Redmi Note 8 device and I have installed this latest official Evolution X 7.7 .7, which is running on Android version 13 and comes with android security update of march 5 2023 and if you look at its kernel quicksilver kernel is used in this room change logs so let's kick off by checking the change logs on the screen you can see all the room and device change logs and these logs provide a comprehensive list of all the updates and fixes that have been implemented it's great to see that the latest update includes the March 2023 security patch ensuring that your device is up to date. In addition, the update also addresses fast charging issues that some users were experiencing and has fixed screen cast issues as well. And you can see all the change logs on the screen and read about all the changes that have been made. User experience Talking about user experience, this ROM gives a pleasant user experience. There is no any lags or any slowdown while scrolling and swiping over the screen. And you can see the app opening and closing speed as well as animation on this ROM. Tell me in the comments how is the app opening and closing speed that this ROM provides. launcher now let's discuss about the launcher available in this room the launcher in the evolution act 7.7 .7 has undergone a significant change in earlier version of this room the default launcher was evolution x launcher however in this latest version of the room the pixel launcher has replaced it so now in this evolution x 7.7 .7, you will be getting pixel launcher which has resulted in a slightly improved user experience but as you know on evolution x launcher we used to get some customizations on its launcher setting but pixel launcher has limited customization options available in its launcher setting like before we could customize quick action buttons on recent app section like screenshot lens pin and other features but now we won't be able to do that camera moving towards camera this evolution x 7.7 .7 offers miui camera in it and this camera has all the features that used to be on stock miui camera but when i tried to click from its 48 megapixel section it did not actually take a 48 megapixel photo and to take a real 48 megapixel photo you need to go to the pro section of the camera app and turn on 48 megapixel option before taking photos this way the photo will have a 48 megapixel resolution and other than issue everything is working perfectly and if we look at the history of camera available on evolution x rom on redmi Note 8, evolution x 7.4 had miui and aperture camera evolution x 7.5 had gcam go available evolution x 7.6.1 had miui and aperture camera again evolution x 7.6.2 had miui camera only and now this evolution x 7.7 .7 has same miui camera available in it Antutu benchmark score. Moving towards some benchmark tests, I'll start with Antutu benchmark score and you can see the score on the screen. And if we compare this score with its previous version, before in Evolution X 7.6.2 ROM, the Antutu benchmark score was 204.328 and in Evolution X 7.6.1, the Antutu score was 202950. Geekbench 5 score. Moving towards next benchmark test, I'll show the result of Geekbench 5 and as you can see the score for single core is 298 and the score for multi core is 1262 which is a good score for this phone. And if we compare this score with its previous versions in Evolution X 7.6.2 the single core score was 297 and multi core score was 1254. 
and similarly on evolution act 7.5 the score was 294 and 1292 respectively geekpen 6 now talking about the result of latest geekpen 6 test you can see the score on the screen for single core the score is 319 and for multi core the score is 1155 and in its previous version the geekpen 6 score was 319 and 1171 respectively and again the score is almost identical CPU throttling test. So now let's perform CPU throttling test and see the results. I have already performed this test for straight 15 minutes and you can also see the results on the screen. The CPU has throttled to 93% of its maximum performance and the average score is 139581 GIPS and before in its previous version 7.6.2 I had done this test for only 5 minutes and no CPU thermal throttling was detected and average score was 143074 GIPS. Safety net test and now let's see the safety net test result and it has passed the safety net test and if we look at play protect certification on google play store app the device is certified <laughs> wallpaper and styles moving towards wallpapers and styles it has now added a new option in there which is this shortcut settings from here you can manage right and left shortcuts that will appear on footer section of lock screen mode and this is a good implementation in terms of customization as in its previous version 7.6.2 they have removed custom themed option from here but now in this 7.7 .7 version they have new option added and talking about other basic options you will get same old things like wallpaper color basic color along with dark theme themed icons and app grid but system fonts option is missing here recent in its previous version it has evolution x launcher in it but now it comes with pixel launcher and with this pixel launcher there are some limitation in launcher setting like in previous version you used to get an uninstall option along with other options like app info split free form etc but now in this version you won't be getting the uninstall button in recent section and not only this if you look down below on recent app section you will find screenshot and select option only but in previous version you used to get different variety of options like clear all pin kill app etc quick settings so this is how quick setting panel looks like where you'll be getting some useful tiles like reboot screenshot sound shorts volume panel calculator screen saver compass qr code scanner and many more and this time they have also removed dolby atmos style from here which was present in its previous build <laughs> settings now let's see what new changes and customizations are available in its settings section Private DNS. In network and internet setting, you will get private DNS option where custom DNS options are also implemented. Like in its previous build, you will get total 5 different DNS provider that you can choose and apply directly. Battery. In its battery setting also, you will get some changes. This pixel battery uses chart was also available in its previous version, but the name was use pixel battery uses chart, which means they have removed that use word in this update. And talking about major changes, you will be getting two new extra options in this battery setting. The first one is this battery optimization option, which allows you to manage how apps consume battery power. And the second option is this sleep mode, which is a power saving feature that allows you to disable certain services to extend battery life. And other than this, everything is same from its previous version and these battery overlays are also present, which will help us to monitor battery status. <laughs> Storage. Now let's talk about the storage space and how much you will need when installing Evolution X 7.7 .7 on your phone. When you clean flash this ROM, you will see that it consumes a total of 7 GB by storage. Out of that, 6.7 GB is used by the system with the remaining 314 MB being used by apps. <laughs> display. In its display setting, there are no any changes made. You will get screen timeout option with maximum 30 minutes limit. And screen attention feature is not added here. And in dark theme, you will get custom theme option and there are 6 different options available. <laughs> Security. 
Inside its security setting, you will get face unlock feature, but I cannot locate the fingerprint option to unlock the phone. Surprisingly, in this update, they have removed the fingerprint unlock option. It comes as a shock to me because in every previous version, both fingerprint and face unlock were available together. Removing this feature is a disappointing decision and I'm not happy about it. But when you enter into more security setting, you will find app lock option to protect your applications. And if you look down below, device is encrypted as well Xiaomi parts in this evolution act 7.7 you will also get Xiaomi parts setting where you will get same options like MI sound enhancer clear speaker display color calibration LCD features ambient display gesture and vibration control and you can adjust the vibration strength according to your choice gestures Inside system, you'll get gesture section from where you can select system navigation as three buttons and gesture navigation only. Two buttons navigation is now removed from here and inside its gesture navigation setting, they have added advanced gesture option from where you can enable this extended swipe action, which is another form of gesture and try this feature if you like to use different gestures on your phone. Also in gestures, you will get swipe to screenshot option which will allow us to take screenshot just by swiping three fingers down on the screen and you will also get search lens options after taking screenshot. The Evolver The Evolver is like the customization hub of Evolution X Room from where you can do tons of customizations on your phone. Like from theme section, you can change lock screen, clock font, and there are total 125 different unique looking clock fonts available, which will make your lock screen look completely different than others. And not only this, you can also change lock screen clock format as single line and double line, which will look something like this on lock screen mode. So in this way, you can do lots of customizations on different sections of your phone, like on status bar, notification, quick settings, power menu, gestures, lock screen, buttons, animation, and on miscellaneous. And from this miscellaneous, you can use game space feature as well as unlock higher FPS in games. But the most disappointing thing is that they have removed unlimited Google photo storage feature from this room and you won't be getting that option anywhere in miscellaneous or any other section of this room. I don't know the reason behind this thing, but most of the people use custom rooms for this unlimited photos and video storage on Google photos app, which is really sad to see this feature missing on evolution X room. And not only this, they have also removed parallel space feature and Netflix spoof option from this evolution X 7.7 room which is really a sock for me so this is all about the latest evolution x 7.7 room what do you think about this update you can share your thoughts and suggestions on comment section below personally i feel like they have removed more features than including and that fingerprint as well as google photo stories are not being available still surprises me thank you so much for watching this video and if you like our video then don't forget to hit the like button comment down below share this video and subscribe to crack so it also hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye